our state and Minute Maid Park in Houston. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Boston Red Sox and the Houston Astros. The Red Sox aim to notch their seventh win in a row right after this. Stepping in, Brandon Nimmo. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The center fielder, Brandon Nimmo. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They've run their win streak up to six in a row now, and they're really playing some inspired baseball. Hey, thanks, Matty V. Hey, Dero, we've got a couple of teams playing some good baseball hey, right now. First, Unfortunately, a winning streak for one of these Go teams out. is going to end today, but boy, this is a great matchup here. Yeah, I'm excited to call this one with you two guys. Definitely. Get two teams okay. playing top of their game right now, really playing well. Both come in on winning streaks. We're going to see who's able to execute in this one. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. This is a pitch I think we'll see a lot from him in this game. The cutter darting in on the hitters in the opposite batter's box. It can be a real effective pitch when it's located well, and that one was right there. In now, Jeremy Pena. The second baseman. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Strike two, swinging just out in front of the slider. Pena is a middle infielder by trade, of course, usually a shortstop, but they've got him at second base in this one. Yeah, Matty, this guy's got some of the best hands in the game. It doesn't matter. Shortstop, second base, you can pretty much put him wherever you want in the infield. Premium defender, up the middle defender. Looks to help out the pitching staff any way he can. Designated hitter, your dog, Alvarez. Here we go, boys. That'll bring up your Don Alvarez. As he'll cut on and miss it, a good slider at the knees for strike one. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. One pitch on its way. Oh, and he's really getting the no, better no, of him now. Strikes. It's strike two. Hey, and the beat goes on. That's number eight. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Oh, Fouled oh. away going to be a long day if he executes like this punching tickets right out of the gate and just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order an inning in the books scoreless on MLB Network ready to go for the last half of the Here inning and that'll we'll give way to the third baseman the third Travis baseman. Shaw Travis Shaw Field shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Circle change is oh, cut on and missed. 0 1. And he falls behind 0 2. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and 
blow smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Batting fifth, the catcher, Corey Lee. Corey Lee digging in now as the fastball is swung oh, on and missed good location down at the knees for strike one he'll enter play here at 293 still without a home run 10 RBIs here we go the wind up and the 0 1 good pitch there down oh, below the zone got him to go after it Mac he's the kind of pitcher that a lot of pitching coaches and managers really appreciate and that he rarely issues the free pass he's a strike thrower. Yeah Matty V and I think every pitching coach and every manager loves to have a guy like this on his staff he won't beat himself he'll make you put the ball in play and he's not afraid to get his defense allowed he's a pitch to contact guy and that's one of the keys why he's been able to be such a good pitcher at this level. is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already and there are two gone in the inning. Wow talk about mowing him down. How about two strikeouts on six pitches. He isn't messing around and these last two batters have had no answer for what he's throwing up there. Batting six. The shortstop. Number eight. Hey two outs huh? Into the box, number eight. So he'll take a look now at a pitch too low. It's ball one. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Come on, guys. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Bottom of the second here with no score. Swings right over the top of that one, two and one. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. Two balls and two strikes now. Here now the two two. Is swung on and missed. He got him. Clearly enjoy. Next up is Luis Camposano, hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. First offering on its way. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Ball up there. High fastball right there with a two strike count. You know what that might be doing? Setting up the next pitch could be that hard slider down and away. Something breaking down and away off the plate. The one two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Boy, he's got great stuff today, doesn't he? That's seven punch outs now here in the middle innings. He's up over one in the inning up to this point. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can change their plan of attack and start to put the ball in play. But right now, that's just not happening. Batting in. The right fielder. Yeah, right. Standing in now, Garrett Stubbs. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Come on, guys. 
guy. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And here's a foul no tip ball, into the catcher's right. glove. One away, one Moves away. it to 0 and 2 now. Nope, Hung the slider there. there, but laid off for ball one. Here comes the one two. Nope. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Now a swing and a ball foul tip straight into the catcher's glove as he's able to hold on for the second out. That's back-to-back -back punch outs, and he's really starting to rack them up now, guys. I've got eight strikeouts in my scorebook for him now, so he's got good stuff. That'll bring up Austin Nola as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. His guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. The 0 1 pitch. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Hey, this guy's nasty on the mound, and to check swing and not chase that one puts himself right back in the count. One and two now as that one's fouled off. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Up, up, and up. it's fouled away. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here and the side is retired. Astros go down one, two, three. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. So here's Brandon Nimmo, struck out in his first at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. The 1 0 home. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in, and they get right back outside. Nice pitch. Swing and a liner. Playable for Verdugo, and there's one gone. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he's part of a flat-footed tie for the AL lead. Next up for the Strohs, Jeremy Pena struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. First pitch on its way. Hey. Called a strike on the outer half. 0-1. Man, this pitcher is on right now. Pounding the zone. Attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. The Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control. 0-2. Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. And he struck him out. So double digits now. 10 strikeouts for him thus far. That's 10 strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. The 
batter, number 44. Designated hitter. So now Yordan. to the plate, Jordan Alvarez. Alvarez. And he's a bit tardy oh, there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now here's the pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. Astros still have yet to tally their first hit in this one. And here's a fastball on 0-2, but it misses 1-2 and two now. Stole cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Ball and that's going to be high 2-2 two and two now. Into the windup and the pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Calhoun waits on it. And that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Astros. They still trail one nothing. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Matty, I'd like to see them change up their offensive approach a little bit right now. Maybe get a little bit more aggressive in the strike zone. I just feel like this pitcher is settling into a rhythm, and they're going to hand it over to the bullpen eventually, and this game's going to be over. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Now into the box, Corey yeah, Lee. Man. He went down on the strikes country. in his last at-bat. And ball this one, is no off strike. the corner and low, ball one. No runs, no hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. A two and two count to the Astros catcher. One out, one out. Uh, and he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Into the box now, number eight. As you'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. Astros go down one, two, three. They trail things here two to nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring up Luis Camposano. The first baseman. First pitch on its way. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding the zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. Right by him here. And he's set up for another strikeout here. The count to 0 and 2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches. Great command, great location, and the big key, with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. Oh. 
right at the plate, Garrett Stubbs. As with one away, he won't catch up with the fastball, and it's 0-1. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Left side. He's got it. And that's the second out. When a guy in the mound is working on a no-no this late, every play is exciting and stressful for the fielders. We'll see if they can continue making the plays behind him. So here is Austin well, Nola. Go for 22. one for him here in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Fouled off. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit. One, two, three, go the Astros. They're down two to nothing. the former first round draft choice Brandon Nimmo he's over two here. thus far in this one this is the part of the game where I think we really start seeing what teams are made of both in terms of battling back showing some resiliency and in terms of knowing how to play with the lead locking down that W swing and a miss and he's in control 0 and 2 Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like way too many guys are chasing pitches out of the zone and trying to hit pitchers pitchers like that one down and away. There's no success in that. So he sets him down swinging. Brandon Nimmo is sent packing to begin the bottom of the seventh. Second baseman. To the plate now, Jeremy, Jeremy Pena. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Plays that one now. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. Up, up. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. In there for extra bases, and there goes the perfect game. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Ah, they finally break through for their first hit of the ball game, so the no-hit bid will end right here. Yeah, Matty B, and this is when you start thinking about that no-no. You get into the seventh inning, Dero. As a pitcher, you start looking ahead to what might happen. And that donut stares at you from an offensive standpoint as well. This guy's had his A game. You can't deny the fact that he's pitched a heck of a game, but from an offensive standpoint, you never stop grinding to get a crooked number up on that board. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. The 0 1 pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Hey, from a pitcher's standpoint, sometimes the greatest pitch is the slider that backs up. He got away with that one, but he wants that thing to bury down the way. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Now batting, third baseman, 
Trevor. So digging in next will be Travis oh. Shaw. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. No hits to this point. Here we go. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. No Good ball. cut fastball that time, and he's in control now, 0-2. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give yeah, in with a great one. pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And Hayes will make the catch. This side is retired. One left for Houston. They're still down. It's 2-0. of inning number eight Lead set up. to go Lead and that brings Corey Lee the to catcher. the plate. Corey Lee. First offering on its way. Ball one. Oh, that's a Nobody. tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it somebody doesn't like it but hey that's the life of an umpire. Here's a little oh, chopper up the middle fielded cleanly and there's one Nobody. down now. Stepping in once again is number eight. Been a strikeout victim twice in this one. And now the first pitch. Hey, we got one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Good pitch there. Had him a little Down. out in front. Nope. Mowing away with that one. It's one and two. One ball, two strikes. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out, a strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Luis Camposano stands in as he can't connect here, 0-1. Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night, working that outer half of the plate. That's why he's having so much success. Behind 0-2 now. On, fellas, let's go. Strike three. 19 strikeouts for him now. Astros go down 1-2-3. They trail in this one 3 nothing. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And next it'll be the outfielder, Garrett Stubbs. Right fielder, Garrett Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. And that's cut on and missed. 0 and 1. All one's the count. Well, you know you've got it working on the mound when they're swinging right through it, even when you're putting it right down the middle of the strike zone. Not the greatest of game plans, though. Behind 0 and 2 now. Here it comes. Got him for an even 20 strikeouts now thus far as he's just been flat unhittable. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. In now, Austin Nova. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And the pitch. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Got, Verdugo's on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. 
So the lineup flips over and digging in Brandon Nimmo. He's their last Let's shot here with two away in the nine. ninth as they look to avoid Brandon. the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. No balls and a strike to count. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with striking out so he's going to get his a swing off. Down now. Last strike now for Houston. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Hey, not many pitchers can brag about throwing a one-hit complete game, so hats off for him. But as a pitcher, I know he's going to wonder, like, what might have been. So close to a no-hitter, but it wasn't meant to be. That's baseball for you. And tonight's ends as a 3-0 shutout win. The Boston Red Sox took the lead in the fourth.